because what I'm about to show you may, <laughs> might, might just shock some of you in this room. Has anybody had teachers in here? Any? Any senior managers? Uh, I went to a teach meet. A lot of you are going to be a teach meet for the first time. After you leave a teach meet, you're going to say to yourself, oh, I've got these great ideas, or old ideas which have been rehashed. You take them to your school, and then you do this thing called fitting it in. Fit it into your curriculum, fit it into your lesson plan, fit it in. And I see it as that square, round hole, that pegging thing. I want to introduce something that I've been doing over the last couple of months, and people who follow me online in my blog would have been following things that I've been up to. Um, take a moment to bow your heads, please. It's a, it's a cruel thing to happen, I know, but the three-step teaching model is, as far as I'm concerned, dead today. Um, what I'm suggesting is three words which strike fear into me and my students. The first word, everybody come in, let's do the introduction. The second word, just as bad I think. Now today we're going to be doing this. And then of course after you've finished all that, the plenary. Had a nice discussion about plenaries and when they should be. I believe plenaries could be any time of a lesson, any time. They don't have to be stuck on at the end. Oh, we've got a minute left. Quick, ask some questions to fit Ofsted's requirements or the SMT or on a learning walk. Um, dead or alive, please. L O, or some people call it L O, learning objective, please. Start rethinking your approach. You are a teacher. Start teaching. Stop relying on something that could have a disastrous effect on the children in your class by narrowing the learning that you give them according to somebody else's guidelines who don't know you, who don't know your class, who don't know what they're actually capable of. Actually say to yourself, even just one day, one day, you go in, you say to the whole school, do you know what, today, Nobody write a learning objective on the board. Give it a go. Tell you what, you see your plans? Throw them in the bin. See what happens. Try something different. You are a teacher. We are all teachers. Anybody who's not a teacher knows a teacher. But something over the last 10, 15 years has stopped teachers being teachers. We just now follow a book, a pattern, a curriculum. We do as we're told. We're beaten into submission. We're not allowed to be the teachers that we were supposed to be, that we were thought that we could be. The, the passion of teaching somebody, going, oh my goodness, imagine this, going with the flow in a class. Somebody has a question, go with their ideas. Throw your plan in the bin. That question's better, let's try this instead. I've been doing a few different things over the last couple of months, as I said. I tried games-based learning, gamifying my classroom, basing teaching upon playing a game. I've used storytelling techniques, brilliant work by quite a number of teachers, but for example, you know who I'm talking about. Bald. Yeah. Big bald he goes nowhere. Well, Tim Rylands, great, a master storyteller. Steve Bunce, knitting and coding. Teachers can tell stories. I did, a, I did a maths lesson very recently, and the SIPs was in. They came up afterwards and said to me, where was the objective? I said, you missed the point entirely. I started the lesson by saying, I don't know any maths, can you help me? And talked about a story where a robber broke into my class and stole the dice. And these dice are very important because they give every teacher the knowledge of teaching maths. The children wanted to find out how to get the dice back and help me discover my maths teaching again. And we use storytelling, problems-based learning, this is something I've been using quite a bit, personalising the learning in my class. Every single child in my class uses something called a personalised learning chart, which looks like this. Yes, it's quite official looking, and, but we worked on it together, the children brought it together. We use Google's 29, 20% 20 of the time during the week is given to the children to develop a project and learning of their own accord. I have to satisfy the school's requirements and legal national objectives, so I have to put these in here. But every child in my class does these on their own. I do not stand at the front and teach. I do not write <coughs> objectives on the board. 
I do not give seating arrangements. I do not give plans of where you have to go in the class. I let the learning happen in my class. And all I'm saying to everybody today, please, if you can take anything away from today, it's be the teacher that you can be. Thank you very much.